Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about my engagement ring. In this video, I will talk about the tips on how we choose our engagement ring, including everything about the diamonds, the brand, the style, and lastly, I will explain it to you why this engagement ring is a mean stock ring. Also, if you haven't checked out our proposal videos, go check it out after this video. First of all, let's talk about brand. I think this is very important for many of you. If I were younger, brand, the designer, especially the big name brand rings, that will be a little bit more important to me. But the older that I get, the less I care about the brand because for me, a ring is more like a symbol of getting into the next stage of our relationship, which is marriage. I thought about Moissanase before I gave him the option. I'm totally fine with Moissanase because if we have Moissanase, we can also show our future kids that, hey, we have Moissanase. You don't necessarily need a diamonds to get married. What's more important behind the ring is if you are happy with this person, if this person loves you or not. Of course, I want a decent one. When we talk about engagement rings, I told him if we decide to go with diamonds, I want a decent one. <laughs> now, everyone has different definition about what is a decent ring, right? It depends on your budget. It depends on what kind of diamonds that you like. So I told him one carat for me is considered as a decent one. Nice. So when it comes to the engagement ring, the brand name is not as attractive to me anymore. So at the end, we decided to go with Blue Nails. I've heard a lot of good words about Blue Nails and they have great reputations. And that's why we chose them. And sometimes if you use some cashback app, you get some sweet, sweet cashback. <laughs> After we choose which brands we decide to go with, next is studying about the rings. Luckily, I have a friend, she used to work at Tiffany and she taught me a lot how to pick a good ring. And I think it's a fun experience, couple come together and learn about engagement rings. I learned a lot from my friend who taught me the 4C, what is a good range of the cut clarity and everything. And I'm gonna share with you so you can share with your partner. It's a great opportunity for both of you to learn more about each other. Maybe he doesn't know what kind of styles that you like. So it's a great opportunity to learn together. When it comes to the 4C, the first thing is the cut, clarity, color, and character. Let's talk about the cut. And I just want to clarify that I am not a diamond expert. This is just something that I learned from choosing my engagement rings. And so if I say something wrong, please correct me in the comment sections. When it comes to the cut, what it really affects is how blink your diamond is. My friends recommend starting from excellence or above. If it fits your budget, go with the best rating. But if you want a decent one, you want a little bit blinky, excellent, it's a good to go. The next C is clarity. Clarity is something shows how clear your diamond is. If the gray is too low, then you can really tell by just looking at it. It's not clear, it's not as shiny. For the range, I would suggest minimum VS grade because for example, SI grade, you can't really, really tell by just looking at it. There's some cloudy stuff in the diamonds, which is not appealing. For VS1, VS2, you can't really tell unless you use a microscope. And there's not much difference between VS1 and VS2 to me. I don't really, really care about VS1 or VS2. Obviously, if it fits his budget, then go with the best one. For my ring, it's VS2. Next is color. I personally think color is more important to me than clarity. Because when we visit Blue Nail Store, the representative show us the diamond with different grade. Anything below H, you can really tell the diamond looks a little bit yellowish. So I wouldn't recommend anything below H if you want a decent one. 
The range I gave my fiance is anything between D to H. He picked G's for me. I really, really like it. It looks really, really nice. Last C's is carrot. For mine is 1.14 carat. Some of you may ask why there's a big difference between smaller diamonds and bigger diamonds. Even with 0.5 carats, there's a huge price difference. Well, that comes to the rareness. The same clarity, colors of diamonds, the bigger one, the harder to find. And that's why they have a big price difference. For me, when we pick our engagement ring, I said anything above one carat, I'll be really, really happy with that. I also, because the style that I choose is a halo one, if it's small diamonds like 0.5 carats, it would just look very, very small. Even with the halo around it, it would not look nice. For me, I'm always a big fan of halo. With Halo, if anything that below one carat, it would just doesn't look nice. It will look very, very small with all the little diamonds around it. That's why I choose anything above one carat. For my engagement ring, the diamond is 1.14 carat. And my Halo design is called the Gallery Collections. It looks so nice. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, this is my engagement ring. For the size of the rings, I would suggest, I would strongly suggest you go together, go to the store and try out the size. Now, let's talk about metal. You need to choose what kind of metal that you want for engagement ring. There are a lot of options. For example, platinum, white gold, I see silver, rose gold. But for engagement ring, stay classy. I would suggest you to get platinum if you are thinking about this is something you want to keep long term. And for platinum, it's less easier to get scratch. White gold, it's low cost. For rose gold, I don't know about that for rose gold. If, if you really, really like it and you think this is your styles, go for it. Oh, for white gold, white gold is easier to get scratch. So I wouldn't recommend it. Stay with platinum, it worth the money. Now, if you watch until here and you hit the like button, you deserve to know the story behind this mean stock ring. Why is mean stock rings? Because he engraved this ring with Lucy A to A and Wish. And you know, Wish and Lucy, they're both mean stocks. And this is at least what I think is. And there's a story behind this ring. A to A is the day that we got together, so we consider it's an important day. And Wish and Lucy, which is CCIV before, those are our two favorite stocks. And this is also how we save for the engagement ring, if you know what I mean. Yes, we took some profit from these two stocks, which help out a lot, paid off this engagement ring. And yeah, this is the story behind this mean stock engagement ring. I think I should end this video here because the sunlight started to kiss my face. Well, I hope you like this video. If you have any comments, any thoughts, please drop down in the comment sections. Don't forget to hit the like. I might make another video. I feel like I only cover the basic of my engagement ring. I'd love to hear about how you pick your engagement rings. I might make another videos and answering your questions. I'll see you in my next videos. Bye. Don't forget to like. Hey babe, mm. how did you come up with the idea to engrave stocks names on the ring? Um, I think the months going into buying the ring, we were talking a lot about stocks almost every single day. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we bought a few and then a couple of them I sold to basically pay for the ring. So then I thought instead of putting a, a sentimental love forever or something, you know, generic like that, I felt like if we put something uh, unique about like the stocks that we laughed about and then I paid for the ring, I think it would have more of a sentimental factor than putting something cheesy so that's why
how much is the ring? I think many people will also want to know too. I'm not gonna tell you, maybe like a couple year old Honda Civic, maybe. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. 